first warning weather with meteorologist Andrew Grotsky. Saw the sun out there in Adrian's shot and from our live cameras. Kind of the calm before the storm, if you will. Right, that's a good way to sum it up. Basically, we are seeing some sun out there this morning. A few rain and snow showers this afternoon, but that's not the big story. Um, the main system arrives, as we talked about, Wednesday night and into Thursday. And that will mm -hmm. bring the biggest impacts on the roads as well, especially for that Thursday morning commute. Now, temperatures right now, they're pretty seasonable out there. A little on the mild side. We're in the low to middle 30s for the Champlain Valley and into the Adirondacks as well. And as you head down the road to southern Vermont, some towns coming in close to 40 degrees so pretty decent day out there but off to the north and west that's where we have some colder temperatures that's going to be working into our direction heading into Wednesday and Thursday that cold mass is going to set us up for some accumulating snow so looking on radar right now we have some clearing in the sky for northern New York or northern Vermont into the northeast kingdom where we've seen some sun this morning clouds are already starting to increase across the north country in northern New York with some rain and snow showers off to the west and all this action is going to be working in our direction by late afternoon and early evening. So a pretty mild day on tap. We're going to be in the low 40s for the Champlain Valley and that'll be the case for southern Vermont. Clouds will be on the increase and we'll see some mixed rain and snow showers by late afternoon. So timing it out for you by about 6 p.m. That's when that rain and snow shower action pushes in to the Champlain Valley. I think right near um, the lakeside, we're going to see mostly just rain from this in valley locations. But if you head inland just a bit, that's where you can see a little more in the way of snow. And that could bring down a quick inch or two in just 20, 30 minutes. So some slick travel for the higher elevations. All that clears out, though, by Wednesday morning. We'll wake up to some sunny skies across northern Vermont and northern New York as well. But clouds will generally increase throughout the day and by the evening that's when that storm will start to be approaching. So tonight not nearly as cold as this morning. We we're in the teens this morning talking 20s by overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. It is a colder day. We're right around 30 for the Champlain Valley with some in increasing clouds and that snow arriving anywhere between about 8 and 10 p.m. I think for the Champlain Valley. And it's going to overspread our region overnight into Thursday morning. Snowfall rates perhaps up to an inch an hour or so for southern areas especially and that'll lead to some slick travel on the roads early Thursday morning. I think it lets up in intensity by late morning through the afternoon. Just a little bit of light snow and even some wintry mix with some sleep pellets by the evening. And then some light snow starts to fill back in overnight Thursday night into early Friday morning with some lingering snow showers, especially in the mountains through the late morning hours. Friday afternoon, all this looks to wrap up. So if you're looking for this to stay all snow, that's going to be the case for the Northeast Kingdom and into northern New Hampshire and even the northern Champlain Valley. Mostly snow, but a little bit of mix for the Champlain Valley, North Country and Central Vermont with a blend of snow and sleet down towards southern areas. So how much we're expecting? About 4 to 8 by Thursday morning with 8 to 12 for the Adirondacks in southern Vermont. That's when the bulk of the snow will fall by. But then heading into Friday, that's where the mountains could see over a foot for the Adirondacks and Greens, a widespread 8 to 12 elsewhere with a little bit less for southern areas where we see some mixing. But heading into late week, that's when we turn colder in the teens Friday and Saturday, but moderating temps by Sunday. Lauren?